Hello guys, how's it going? This is Bharat here. We're going to be talking about Flutter and Firebase. A lot of people have been asking me about what is Firebase and how to set up Firebase for your Flutter application. A brief introduction about Firebase would be, it's actually Google's data storage and analytics storage mechanism. Everything is done through a server which is going to be remote and we're going to store data and back and forth without the dependency of setting up your own server and your database. It actually offers a variety of tools for a lot of small and medium developers and also paid versions for big companies as well. We're going to be talking about how to set up your Flutter application and connect it with Firebase. We cannot not do this entire thing in one video. In this video, you can initially see how to connect or you know, how to set up your Flutter application. In the coming videos, we're also going to see how to create and store data from your Flutter application to the Firebase. Okay, enough of the introduction. Let's go straight and see how to set up your Flutter application with your Firebase. <laughs> Alright guys, you have the Firebase website up and running, so you have to go here and click on the get started button. It will take you to the console where you can create a Firebase project. We are going to be doing that. I have already created a couple of projects for testing purpose. I will tell you what I learned from these two. And there is one more important bonus clip attached with this video also. We go here and click on the add project. So you will be taken to this model. You can enter any name. This is not necessarily your application name. You can just enter Firebase. Go here and accept the terms and conditions. Learn if you want to read it, you can actually read it and click on the create project. It's going to take a minute to create a space for you to do your Firebase operations like database store analytics and everything that you'll be seeing in this video series. All right, so it's going to complete doing that. Since Flutter application is going to be for both iOS and Android, you have to do the configuration for both that. What is that? And also, you should be aware of the fact that you can run iOS. Uh, you can build iOS applications using only Mac OS since I am building the Flutter application using Mac OS only I have to actually give space for both iOS and Android uh, first thing first I'll go, go to iOS click on iOS and you can actually you are asked to enter a bundle ID we are going to open our Flutter application I've already opened created a new Flutter application if you do not know how to do that you can go check the card that is coming up right now you can go to the uh, understand the basics of creating flutter application you do that and there's another important thing about flutter application is that it actually creates a two bundles one for android and one for ios we are actually going to use the xcode and open the this application this project and the ios part of this project using xcode and get the bundle id from that so what i've done is i've opened xcode and i'm going to go to the document section where i have the firebase it's called a Firebase sample app. It is there. It is here. You click on that. You click on iOS and you open it. Okay, this is what it's going to open. We are going to get a, some, something like this. Xcode editor is this. We will double click on runner, and you're taken to this screen. And this has this bundle ID in fire attached here. You copy this, put it here, and you click register app. You don't have to do anything more. It's going to take a sec couple of seconds to actually generate your Google service hyphen info.pst file, which is very important for us to communicate with the Firebase project that we have created. You download that. Okay, this is how it should be. So, this is important. Now, again, open the Xcode. We will again open the Firebase sample, which is what we open, right? And you go to this part. This part is very, very important. The Google doc does not tell you that you have to go to Xcode and Xcode and import your. Google service plist file through Xcode and it just asks you to move the plist into your project which is not so because when you do it through Xcode it creates a reference and that is very very important you are click on add files to runner you go to desktop and you click on this and once you do that you can see that it's creating a lot of values and this part is very very important you do not skip this step this is a lot of there is a lot of error that is coming if you do not do this through Xcode. I actually spend a lot of time yesterday checking how it can be done properly and this is the only way I found that can be properly done. Okay, we've done that. We just close it for now and you just go back to the console. Click on this. Just click next. You don't have to do anything. Now this is running. We jump back to the application here. Alright, so we have done that part. Uh, the next 
we have done adding the configuration files and next part that we have to concentrate is on add going to the first plug that Amazon adding dependencies and telling the flutter application that we have to connect with the firebase uh, we are going to be taking care of two important dependencies here we are going to continue using these dependencies and these are missing in the flutter uh, firebase doc because I found it difficult to follow the firebase doc and you know make it work this is this is the only thing that worked for me I was spending a lot of time yesterday uh, the first dependency that we are going to be adding is the firebase underscore core and it's going to take the dependency version of 0.2.4 and the next is the firebase database which is going to take the version 1.0.1 .1. all right so all right so this is done we're going to do the packages get it's going to take it's going to get all the important packages that we need both the firebase core and database and it's going to run the application and when once i've already had simulator running here so when i run the application the firebase console should show me green and that means that the common application is communicated to the firebase so it just run the application you'd like for it to run no battery never let it run it's going to definitely take some time for it to run great so the app is live it's right here it's running actually so the expectation is that once the app is run you are going to go back to the console and check if it's turned green great so it has turned green it means that uh, we have successfully communicated with the firebase console and uh, an additional point that i want to make here is there's a lot of lot of simple things that i found was missing when I did this the first time and there was a lot of problems that is going facing when I was actually configuring the Firebase uh, for Flutter iOS, iOS part alone. I'm going to be talking about that in for another minute and once that is done, you can go jump back into Android. If uh, you are your application is actually working and communicating with the Firebase without any of these additional steps that I want to talk about, you can go ahead and skip this, skip this and go back to the Android part and continue with the setup for Android. Alright, so if you are facing a similar problem, like I'm going to be showing it to you, uh, there are some workarounds that I found out after a lot of lot of searching, and it means that this isn't going to work. I'll just cancel it here for now. Stop it from working. I'm really not sure if I can find if I can reproduce that because I've actually stopped making that the error come. So I'll just explain what error was. So it it will what will actually happen is that it will tell you that there is a missing file dot h missing file in ios uh, this usually happens if for three main reasons that i found one is if you are not using the latest flutter so what you're going to do is you got to go back to the terminal here actually try doing that so let me show it to you okay so first thing you're going to do is actually try running the flutter upgrade so when you do flutter upgrade it is going to install the latest version of flutter to your system this is very important because sometimes you may be using very old like maybe a very old version of flutter and trying to communicate with the latest version of firebase plugin which is not going to work so you would first try running the fire uh, flutter upgrade and if you still face the same problem the next thing you want to go to do is you are going to type in flutter channel so by default flutter is going to be pointing to the flutter stable channel here so flutter stable is actually going to have all the stable things that are going to run uh, the recommended version was actually to run it in stable because your final flutter application is going to run in stable version only but if you are trying to make this work you can actually try building the flutter in flutter channel dev so what you're going to do is just type flutter and you're going to type channel and switch the entire flutter pointing to the dev so when dev is going to have a lot of latest uh, updated or fixed with bug fixes going to be given to the dev channel which is you already on dev so yeah you can actually do that you can actually go to flutter channel dev and once you are there do another flutter up upgrade so it's going to pull all the latest flutter dependencies from the dev channel okay this is the second third thing that you're going to try to do is actually three important steps go back to the application that you are actually in i'm actually inside my directory here this is my directory i have the ios here so you're going to do is flutter clean You are going to manually clean the flutter it's going to remove all the unnecessary build files it's going to remove all the dart tool files and it's going to do another clean build 
so for before doing that make sure that you have added the dependencies here these two are important dependencies are uh, the firebase doc does not have the firebase database dependencies but as a more do not make things work when i don't have the firebase database dependencies so you you for for safety measures you just had both the dependencies into your flutter uh, pubspec.yaml and you next thing you don't do is flutter packages get all of these commands are running in your id as well which is actually the android story id but i find it somewhat i do not know what happens when you do when you doing a flutter clean you do flutter packages get and then you run the flutter build manually so you do flutter run manually when you're doing the flutter run manually it is going to build everything from scratch and it's going to try to run things so this is going to run this is actually still going to run some things it's going to take some time to run everything manually and once that is done you go back to your android studio and you try to actually it, it would have actually run the application it will be syncing the files and the application will come live but you again do the flutter run again in this and once that is done the fix must work so it, it should actually connect with your uh, no error should come you, you should be connecting to your console and the green button should come up so these are the three things that i tried and i'm pretty sure that these are the only fix that is currently available for uh, this dot h file missing error and i'm pretty sure you can actually solve this with these three important steps all right great job so far i was part of configuration is done next thing we're going to jump onto is the android part of configuration go back to firebase console we have successfully added the ios and linked it to the firebase close this and you're going to click on add app and on click on add app you actually have android symbol here click on that it's going to open so the similar to what we did with xcode you're going to go back to android studio you're going to close this open the android if you're familiar with the Androids, Android building and developing Android apps, you must be familiar with the concept of Gradle and Manifest. You actually are going to go to the app and you're going to go to the build.gradle file here. And upon going here, you can actually find the application ID under the default, con default config parameter. You actually find the application ID, which is going to be the name of the application that you have to put in the Firebase console. You just copy paste this, go back, paste it here. And just register app. There's actually two more additional steps that you have to do if you are configuring for the Android app. Just download the Google service JSON. This is actually going to be a JSON file. Download this. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this, go back to the Gradle file, go back to the Android Studio, and click on. And I'm going to go to the app and paste this here done i've actually pasted this inside the app remember to paste this inside the app subdirectory and you are done you go here again back to the firebase console you click on you actually put this inside the app that is good click on next you are going to add three important lines to your code first thing is going to be the project level gradle click on this copy it and go to the project level gradle project level gradle is the gradle here this is the project level gradle click on this go to the dependencies paste the dependency there and save it the next thing is going to be the app level gradle click on this dependencies so app level gradle is inside the app there's a build dot gradle go down and put this thing here save it come back copy this line and this should come below the dependencies this that is it we actually have actually done that. We uh, already have the PubSpec YAML and already added the dependencies right here. So we don't have to worry about that. Just click on next and you are going to run any Android simulator. But I guess the application is run. It's installed in my emulator. You just have to go here and check if it's connecting to the part. Great. So it is actually communicated with the Firebase console and our linking of the Android part of the Flutter to the Firebase is done. We just have to make sure that from now on this is going to create a simple Flutter based Firebase logics and it's going to store the data for both iOS as well as Android. We'll be seeing all of that in the coming videos but uh, you just make sure that uh, the Flutter and Firebase console configurations are done properly so that from now on you can actually go ahead and create a lot of flat-based, Firebase-based applications.
all right guys that's it from me if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button and also share it that is an important firebase ios error that i actually gave you a game fix for if it is working do not forget to share that as well and if there is another workaround that you found out, you can also put that in comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well so that I can make a lot of such videos on Flutter and other programming languages. That's it from me. Have a good day.